So thank you everyone for coming. We're gonna discuss some publisher tools for growth today. What's dangerous is not to evolve. This is a quote from the CEO of Amazon, Jeff Bezos. Throughout the session, you'll hear some more wise words from people that may or may not be smarter than the three of us. But for now, let's get started by talking about these, public, these tools for growth. My name is Devin Miller, and I'm a senior publisher development manager here at CJ. Along with me is Amanda Nudell, advertiser account manager, and Jody Ford, associate advertiser account manager. The three of us have seen some change, as you can tell from our precious childhood photos. <laughs> But we've really seen some change here at CJ, and we've seen what, what publishers really need to do to evolve and grow in the affiliate space on behalf of themselves and advertisers. So today we're gonna go over just a few of the tools that CJ's created to help you grow and evolve your programs. This is not the old CJ some of you may remember. We have changed too, and we wanna help you get to the next level. So let's get started. Speaking of change, I have been at CJ now for 10 and a half years, which is probably a lifetime for some of you. <laughs> I started out as an account rep just learning about affiliate, really only knowing what the word affiliate meant. And I evolved through the next 10 years to my current role managing some very large, high-profile publishers. So needless to say, I've seen it all, and I can tell you firsthand, not everyone survives. In our world, the digital world, change is not a slow process. It can happen overnight. Just look at the Google Panda update from this past May. A single algorithm can have a widespread impact and change everything for a publisher. So keeping on top of these changes and ahead of these changes is extremely important. And CJ is the number one network in the US because of our commitment to change. So let's evolve together. From mobile to content to going global, we're gonna discuss just a few of the many ways that CJ's tools can help you enhance your programs and bring yourselves up to that next level. And before your hands cramp taking all those meticulous notes I know all of you are on a take, <laughs> just sit back, relax, and enjoy our session, and we'll have a handout you can grab on the way out the door that covers the high-level key points of today's session. So let's get started with mobile. Please welcome Amanda Nudell. I guarantee that today's teen would not be impressed with the cell phones we used to know. This is me wearing my best teenage I'm so not impressed face. When flip phones were cutting edge and almost everyone I knew how to Nokia cell phone. Well, like most teens, in addition to not being very impressed, I loved going shopping. And while my favorite clothes were the ones I stole from my older sisters, going shopping was certainly my hobby of choice. But looking back, the consumer journey I take today is dramatically different from the one I did as a teen. Information wasn't necessarily at my fingertips. Instead, I flip through magazines and catalogs to research new trends. The brands I was loyal to were the ones that were actually accessible. And my motivator to purchase often determined by availability. But just as flip phones are a thing of the past, so is the consumer of my journey of my teenage years. Today, I build brand awareness through social media. Newsletters deliver the season's hottest trends. And I check out my favorite store's newest collections by launching their mobile app. You see, my consumer journey, from evaluation to purchase, is all done on my phone. And I'm not unique. Did you know that today's consumer spends 15 plus hours per week researching on their smartphones? Eight of those hours are spent in mobile apps. And when it comes to making a purchase, these consumers are no joke. The same study showed that 93% of people who use mobile to research go on to make a purchase. 83% within the same day, and over half within the hour. So what does this tell us? In today's journey, Mobile is an integral piece in the path to purchase, and so are you. Advertisers depend on publishers to get in front of consumers. So, evolving your mobile strategy is key to staying relevant tomorrow. Being an ad dev, I know this firsthand. The number one ask I get from advertisers is what more can I be doing with mobile and who can I be doing it with? Well, I want you to be the answer to that question. So today, we're gonna to focus on tools and strategies to help you get mobilized. 
and we'll pull in an example from a fellow publisher to help shed a little light. But first, let's start with some wise words. Margaret Wheatley said, without reflection, we go blindly on our way. So I'm going to ask you a simple question. Are you a mobile publisher? With a show of hands, how many of you check email on your phone? How many of you have a mobile site? What about a mobile app? Now, how many of you actually have a mobile strategy? No matter where you are in the process of getting mobilized, we're all seeing this overwhelming shift. What we're seeing is that mobile sales continue to rise. And it's really like a hurricane rearranging the coastline of e-commerce. Think about it. Think about your advertisers. Think about your consumers. Are they evolving and adapting? How are you meeting their needs? Well, Trial Pay, a CJP publisher, was faced with this exact same question. As mobile usage continued to rose, they found that their key segments were asking for something they didn't have. They had a problem. So what did they do? Trial Pay selected, adapted, and integrated to deliver a new mobile experience. Select. And by select, I mean they were selective. To ramp up traffic, they chose to select with, so they chose to ramp up with a top group of select partners that they knew had a proven mobile track record and a seamless user flow. So they ramped up traffic, making sure they were providing a positive customer experience. Adapt. This is a big one. When we're talking about adapting, remember, it doesn't mean simply shrinking the desktop experience. <laughs> Trial Pay knew that in order to ramp up traffic and to con continue to deliver quality customers, they needed to think through every aspect of the mobile experience. A great example is the platform they chose to build on. They chose a seamless cross-device platform so that no matter how users interacted with Trial Pay, advertisers could be assured of an identical customer flow. Pretty innovative. Integrate. As mobile usage rose, they saw that their advertisers were becoming more and more innovative. Two key trends stood out. The rise of video and in-app commerce. So what did they do? They figured out ways to integrate these trends. When it came to in-app commerce, they sought out select partnerships so they could provide unique in-app shopping experiences. When it came to video, they leveraged unique channels and partnered with big brands so they could create engaging mobile video experiences. Suddenly, their partners had new visibility. By selecting, adapting, and integrating, TrialPay delivered the mobile experience their key partners, existing partners, and consumers were looking for. And you can too. But where to start? Well, why not by leveraging what's already at your fingertips? But I warn you, next topic, pretty exciting. So I need everyone to stay calm, because now it's time to talk about, you guessed it, data. <laughs> Seriously, though. <laughs> While the thought of talking about numbers might put us all to sleep, I know everyone here knows the value of data-driven strategies. Can you imagine if you walked in to upgrade your phone and the only one they had was the Nokia of my teenage years? Of course not, because you've seen how much mobile has evolved. And at CJ, we know that we need to constantly evolve our reporting tools to make sure you can stay on top of today's trends. We've enhanced our features in the account manager to provide you increased transparency because transparency leads to efficiency. Now, within the account manager, with literally the check of a box, you can identify mobile certified advertisers and mobile optimized links. So finding the right partners and right content has never been easier. Also, 
we've added device level reporting so that every single transaction now gives you greater insight into the mobile trends within your network. With our enhanced features to tracking and transparency, you can more easily identify the biggest drivers and strongest converters. So you can more easily optimize and track the success of your mobile campaign. Because when you get down to it, success is what drives evolution. And in order to be successful, you've got to be willing to test new solutions. Sometimes those tests are going to fail, and that's OK. I thought, what better way to provide you a little encouragement than to share with you one of my biggest flops? This is me when I decided to test out if bangs were a fit. <laughs> they weren't. Huge, huge flop. Many bobby pins and hair clips later, I adapted and survived. <laughs> and the reason I share this is because if at CJ we weren't willing to be innovative and try new things, we'd never be able to help you stay on top of today's trends. And the trend we're seeing is the quantum leap in mobile sales worldwide is causing many retailers to refocus spending and technology on ways to better engage with the mobile shopper. Well, we've enhanced our tracking capabilities to provide you app engagement so that you too can better engage with the mobile shopper. To share with you a little bit more about app engagement, Nicole Ron, who has awesome bangs, is going <laughs> to share with you a little bit more about app engagement. As shopping habits continue to evolve, advertisers ask themselves, how do we evolve to best serve our customers? When it comes to driving users to an advertiser's mobile app, the answer lies with you, the publisher. Did you know that 37% of consumers use mobile apps as their primary way to browse and shop transactions on their mobile device? Well, we have good news. CJ's app engagement solution evolves the way advertisers track and reward publishers for driving app-based transactions. Our new technology allows you to engage customers seamlessly in an in-app environment. Now, our app tracking is as advanced as our web tracking, and no longer do we require a redirect to track, which leads to a smoother customer experience. We also developed a new portal for developers, which provides direct access to technical documentation and SDKs, plus CJ's engineering blog and web services, all for a streamlined workflow. Advertisers can now track and pay on any combination of actions, including downloads, registrations, sales, even item-based sales. CJ's app engagement solution rewards publishers for being the driving force behind increased app usage, customer engagement, and incremental revenue. It's the tracking solution everyone needs to continue their evolution in the mobile commerce space. Earlier I mentioned how much time per week consumers spend using mobile apps. Well, on top of that, 41% of today's shoppers report using apps while in-store shopping to search for deals, read reviews, and find offers. What this means is that merging the offline and online experience into one has never been more important. And that's exactly what our site-to-store tracking does. With site-to-store, Publishers can now drive offline sales for advertisers. So that 41% can now be a part of your incremental revenue, getting credit for sales that weren't commissionable in the past. Because when you get down to it, you deserve the credit. Your role in the path to purchase is huge. And I hope you see that mobile's is too. If your mobile strategy doesn't reflect the consumer journey of today, then it's time to be fearless, ditch the Nokia, and implement some new solutions. And all you have to do is remember what I said. By selecting, adapting, and integrating, you'll be able to deliver a new mobile experience. But mobile's just one way to step into the future. Now, we're gonna switch gears and focus on how content, just like mobile, is evolving the consumer journey. Everyone, Jody Ford. Like Amanda, I consider myself a mobile shopping expert. 
Not because of my bias in affiliate marketing, but for one reason you can all relate to. I can shop from the couch in my sweatpants. <laughs> After a long day in the CJ office, LA traffic, a workout and dinner, you can find me, iPhone in hand, on the couch watching HGTV. For those of you who don't know, HGTV is home and garden television. I like to search for my dream home while watching an episode of House Hunters, or browse home decor trends while watching Flip or Flop as I see Tarek and Christina transform the worst house on the block to the nicest. I'm the omnichannel marketer's dream. <laughs> Admittedly, I'm not the only one in my family with the HGTV bug. In fact, my parents, my husband, my sister, they're all fans as well. In fact, my parents were selected for an HGTV show in 2008. The show was called Hammerheads, and like other renovation shows, they show you just how easy it can be to transform a space in your home with the help of the homeowners. This meant my mom, she was gonna have to get her hands dirty, and my dad, who works in construction, was gonna love every minute of it. My parents are wine connoisseurs, and with nowhere to store their growing wine collection, they wanted to turn our office, with its white walls and beige carpet, into a rustic wine cellar room with the new purpose of entertaining family and friends. So my mom sent in the application, and soon we found out we were selected for the show. But before I move forward with this reality TV story, I want to turn the cameras back to all of you and your websites. I want you to imagine your sites as our office in this before photo. It functions and has a purpose, but it has the potential to be used so much more, or in a different way. How could you renovate your site to be used more by your consumers? Who do they turn to to ease their fear of making the wrong purchase when shopping online? you all have the potential to be their shopping experts. Each of your sites and businesses have topics that you're passionate about. It's time for you to identify those unique attributes and develop content that shows off those strengths. Shoppers want to be just as confident when they're shopping online as they are in-store, where they can touch and feel or try on products. But when shopping online, they're looking for more. They're looking for more images of products, more details about each product, and definitely looking for product reviews. With CJ's content tools, they're going to help you evolve and move forward in an effective and efficient way to develop content that keeps your users coming back to your site to ensure they get your expert advice and they know that every online purchase is the right purchase. Plus, Google's top barometers for assessing how a website should rank on their search engine include site quality, unique content, and the number of external links directing to a website. As Charles Darwin said, in the long history of humankind, and animal kind too, those who learned to collaborate and improvise most effectively have prevailed. Collaborate and improvise to prevail. The equation looks simple, but the execution in reality may not be so easy. Using CJ's content tools, we're going to solve this equation today. Collaboration. We're all here to collaborate, to invest in relationships. That's what CJU's all about, and that's what CJ's all about. Collaborating with your advertiser partners to develop great content for your users is going to be a game changer for two reasons. First, it's an additional opportunity for advertisers to get exposure for their brands. And second, and most important to all of you, it's a new source of revenue. Collaboration is a key to developing your affiliate strategy, and we know that this was important for us when doing our HGTV show because it allowed us to have designers, tools, and contractors to finish our wine room. Improvising. This is going to require trying something new. Test out different ways to add content to your site and see what sticks with your consumers. Using our content tools, we're going to solve this equation and prevail. Three tools I'm going to introduce you to today are product widgets, the deep link generator, and the deep link automation tool. But before we move forward, let's take a step back and analyze how you're probably pulling links for your website. You're logging into the account manager, searching for links implementing them on your site, and then changing them as new offers come along or your advertiser relationships change. This can take up to three minutes per link. No one has time for that. But using our content tools, you'll be able to pull links in just a fraction of the time. 
The first tool is the product widget tool. As you can see in my example, this is a product grid for wine lovers. Product widgets are easy to use with their drag and drop functionality, and there are three customizable formats for you to choose from. Another great thing about product widgets is they'll likely result in a higher AOV because you've paired products or recommended one your user might not have thought about. Over 38,000 product widgets have been created in 2014, and our advertisers' products have seen over 14 million impressions. To get started, log into the Account Manager and select the Widgets tab. From there, you can pick the format that fits best with your site. Our next two tools are new to the network, the Deep Link Generator and the Deep Link Automation Tool. Deep Linking allows you to direct a consumer to a specific page on an advertiser's site to help increase the click-to-sale conversion ratio. From Q1 to Q2 2014, our advertisers have seen, our publishers have seen commissions increase by 90% through these deep linking tools. Unlike the product widget, which can be seen by consumers, the deep link generator and deep link automation tools are going to help you behind the scenes, scenes save time. This is like the crew of Hammerhead's experts that would come in at night and finish up the projects the designers didn't get to. Mark Bible is going to come and speak a little bit more about the Deep Link Generator and Deep Link Automation tools. As part of the product team at CJ, my focus is on creating and evolving tools that streamline and optimize the affiliate experience. For example, the Deep Link Generator and Deep Link Automation tools will help you spend less time creating and managing links and more time developing relationships with your site's audience and with key advertiser partners. The Deep Link Generator integrates seamlessly into your existing workflow. While you're on the product page for the latest, greatest thing, you simply engage the tool in your browser, copy the provided link, and incorporate it into your content as you're creating it. More importantly, there's no longer a need to access the account manager to search for links or troubleshoot links that become inactive. In other words, you control the specific destination for your audience, and your links will always lead them to that destination. Deep Link Automation takes this idea and your efficiency one step further. Place a single line of code on your web pages or templates and instantly forward all eligible organic links through CJ when a visitor clicks the link. You can choose to limit this to active advertiser relationships, include all CJ advertisers, or even designate a specific subset. Links to any other sites, whether associated with other affiliate networks, handled by other technologies, existing CJ ads, or just links to random places are never affected. After a one-time setup, you can now focus your energy on creating content that engages your audience while getting the appropriate credit for referrals based on links you've created at any point in time. These new tools are just a stepping stone to help you evolve your affiliate way of life. Streamlining your workflows and developing content for your sites is a pretty big win in terms of efficiency. You're probably wondering, how do I implement these tools when I return from CJU? Well, here are three easy steps to implement the Deep Link Generator. As Mark said, by following these simple steps, you'll be up and running in just minutes. For those of you looking for customization of your Deep Links, there's additional features available, like adding an SID, for example. This is for those of you that have to have the custom crown molding in your rooms or the fancy stripes painted on your wall. That little something extra. But if I haven't convinced you to implement the Deep Link Generator, here are a few publishers' success stories. Shana Mahoney at PurseBlog said, what used to be a multi-step process now takes just a fraction of the time. Over at SheFinds, Sarah Alderman noted how she's able to look up products and advertisers at the same time. And the editors at Chipmunk who use the Deep Link Generator every day are able to generate targeted Deep Links to their favorite products while browsing through CJ retailers. These are just a few publisher success stories, but there are many more network-wide. Ready for next steps for the Deep Link Automation tool? I would give you three next steps, like the Deep Link Generator, but there's only one step to implement Deep Link Automation. You simply add this one line of code to your site, and all qualified content is now monetized. With one step, you can make a huge impact on the renovation of your site. This is like setting that last lamp in place or hanging a statement piece above your fireplace. Once there, you'll never be able to imagine what life was like before. The Deep Link Automation tool is the newest tool to our network, so be sure to utilize the information on cj.com to help you get up and running. Adding these content tools to your affiliate strategy should be the first thing on your to-do list or your honey-do list when you return from the conference. 
Over 250,000 transactions have already come through these tools, and over 3,000 publishers are already utilizing them. That number has increased over 58% since Q1 2014. Renovating your site might seem like a huge project, but with our CJ tools, you can definitely make it happen. My parents and the Hammerheads crew made a great team, and together they were able to change our home forever. The finished product is pretty amazing. Today I made you do some math, which is I'm sure what you wanted to do when you got up this morning. But before we continue, let's solve our equation and prevail. Prevailing means earning more commissions, differentiating yourself from your competitors, and bringing consumers coming back to your site for more. Now that we're challenging ourselves to think differently, Devin is going to come up and have us think out of the box and out of the country. So when I was 26, I got a little crazy. I thought it'd be a great idea to just quit my job, pack my bags, hop on a plane, and move to the Netherlands for a year with my boyfriend. These are the things you do when you're in your 20s and you have no idea where your life is headed. But it was a great experience for me and a huge part of my evolution as an adult. I learned a little bit of Dutch, very little. Really important things like how to say meatballs and cheese. That gets you really far when you live in the Netherlands. But what I really learned was I had a true passion for things and experiences outside of my home country. And here at CJ, we're seeing the same thing for our consumers. People are shopping with publishers and advertisers not found in their home country. So use the support that CJ has in place to help you evolve and go international. Did you know that 90% of CJ publishers and advertisers experience transactions from outside of their core market? 90%. Using the tools that CJ has in place and continues to create can help you grow your global, evolve your global, uh, sorry, evolve your global <laughs> strategy. <laughs> We're going to take a quick look at a video from Aruna Bagtani, one of our product managers, to go over some of these tools and insights that she and her team have been creating. Chances are you're experiencing traffic outside your core country, and CJ can help you evolve internationally by aligning the best mix of advertisers to help monetize your reach. CJ has launched new functionality that provides deeper insights on how to take advantage of global opportunities within our network. With our recent deployment of the international program discovery and management functionality, we're leveraging geotag data to show the top five countries that an advertiser or publisher is seeing conversions from. This functionality is available now, and it clearly shows what brands resonate the most with a given country's consumers. It also removes the manual component of checking an advertiser's shipping information and makes gauging in-market consumer demand more transparent. We've received excellent feedback from our clients on all of the new features and are actively building upon these tools. Some of the new functionality that we plan to include are externalizing geotag information within our transaction reporting, both on the advertiser side and the publisher side, providing categorical global insights, and providing updated filtering based on IP data. Our goal is to help start global conversations, and we understand that data is a critical component of that. With e-commerce sales expected to exceed $1.5 trillion this year, it's an exciting time to be a part of the ever-changing affiliate landscape, and we're prepared to help transform your local success into new global markets. So like Aruna said, the global e-commerce market continues to grow, and we're seeing larger, more frequent purchases being made every day. So while international sales may not be on your radar right now, they're already happening on your sites. 90% of you are already seeing transactions come from outside of your core market. To support you in this international strategy, we have a very large team of people solely dedicated to publisher support. It's one of, the, one of the many reasons CJ is the number one network in the US. Locally, we have a team of 25 who support publishers from all shapes and sizes, brand new in our emerging media department, all the way up to the more tenured and established CJ performer level. To guide you in your international growth, we have a business development team dedicated solely to finding those opportunities outside of your core market. Dirk Meath is our global business development manager, also precious. <laughs> Not only was he born in Germany, but his days at CJ are spent living and breathing all things international for you, the publisher. So really lean on the support and the tools that we have in place to grow your strategy. One publisher that is already leaning on this support is shop.com. If you're not familiar with them, they're a US-based publisher that does cashback and deals. And they've realized that they had traffic coming to their site from all over the world. 
So they capitalized on this by creating international versions of the mall, and they welcome shoppers with different language options so that the shopping experience is more relevant and keeps them coming back. Year over year for Canadian sales alone, shop.com has seen 133% growth. So now let's talk about how you can tap into this opportunity like shop.com did. Three-step process. Step one, you take a look at your Google Analytics and you see that you have about 3% of your traffic coming from Canadian shoppers with no specific effort to cater to a foreign audience. This is step one, and acknowledging this is the most important part. It's accidental reach. Step two, you've now recognized that new country interest exists. Find out what you're doing that your competitors aren't. Are you ranking well on local search engines? Consider those welcoming those shoppers like shop.com does with the international languages so that their shopping experience is relevant and again, keep them coming back. And step three, I'll admit this is kind of a lot of steps in step three, but that's okay. <laughs> Have conversations with in-country advertisers and find out what their pain points are and what's missing. Are you already working with advertisers like Lenovo and Symantec who are badged as international in the CJ account manager? Hopefully, yes you are. <laughs> Well, they also target Canada, and they have other programs in CJ that target their, their international markets. You can easily find more advertisers like Lenovo and Symantec right in your CJ account using the search functionalities that CJ has created to help you. You can search for where an advertiser ships or services, if it's something digital like GoDaddy or something like that. You can search for where an advertiser is actually located if you're looking for you know, relevant, relevant advertisers for those shoppers. And you can even search to see if the advertiser has creative, specifically in languages spoken in another country. And like Aruna mentioned in her video, you can see the top five countries converting for a specific advertiser. So even if they're US based, but you see them converting well for Canada, that's probably someone you're gonna to wanna to promote for those shoppers. And then look for advertisers like Land's End. Land's End works with a company called Border Free. Border Free offers target shipping and checkout options that calculate the true shipping and VAT or duty costs ahead of time. When you're shopping out of the country, typically people know there are going to be additional fees in place, but a lot of times they don't. And doing this legwork ahead of time will take the guesswork out for the shoppers and avoid a literal VAT or duty surprise at the door. Someone's made the purchase already, they've already paid shipping, they've already paid for the product, and they can't accept the product until they pay the delivery man an additional fee. Not a good experience. Break out your international sites in your CJ account by PID and disclose your international reach in your website description and network profile. Keeping everything in one account will not only help for your reporting options to keep everything together, but it'll help you leverage the relationships you've already established and keep creating new ones. You won't have to create a separate account for every international program. And consider a domain for the Canadian site. Shop.com has ca.shop.com. And then make sure you're using keywords on the site that resonate with the local audience, like voucher instead of coupon or house coat instead of bathrobe. And then don't forget about the holidays celebrated in other countries. Canadians celebrate Victoria Day every May, and this coincides with many sales that you do not want to miss out on. Okay, so I know this is a lot to take in. The three of us have gone over a lot of information, but it's only the beginning. We want you to take that leap and try something new and take yourself to the next level. I seem to be someone who enjoys taking leaps. One year I ran off to the Netherlands. A few years later we ran off to another city, took another leap, this time to Las Vegas, and that guy and I are actually married now. So what I'm telling you is it can actually really work out if you just take the leap and try something new. I encourage all of you to log into your CJ account today and really take a look at these tools that we've been creating. A lot has changed. From mobile to content to going global, we've covered a lot of tools and strategies in our session today. On behalf of Devin, Amanda, and myself, we want to thank you for coming to our session today, and we hope you have a great CJU. Please feel free to find us if you have any additional questions. Thanks. Thank you.